Grab your buckets and spades because this week we're heading to the beach. Mod Sailing, Krista and Mohawk are here with everything you need to know about this year's summer beach event. So on Monday's update, we'll be bringing you to the beach once again and we thought what better way to introduce it to you than coming to Cromer in Norfolk, England. The beach is an event we've thrown for the past two summers now where we fill Lumbridge Crater full of sand and just host loads of beach activities. We've got the skilling activities from last year's beach, they're all back. We've got the coconut shy, that gives you ranged XP. Then we've got fishing and the rock pools for fishing XP. We've got sand castles that give you construction XP and you can build like the mage's tower and all sorts of cool things. We've got coconut trees you can harvest coconuts from to get you farming. We've also got grills for cooking. We've got the strong men, who, so you can do strength XP. If you're like me, you don't want to do combat, you can just hang out on the beach and pull all the poses. We've got beach ball rolling, so you can go in through the portal, chase after that beach ball and attempt to try and get to the bottom and see if you can, because none of us can. So Claudia is back as well. She'll spawn once every hour from the centre of the crater. If you can remember from last year, Raina, when she was getting rid of the last of her mystery boxes and all the sand, she happened to throw a tiny weeny little creature into the middle of the crater and that's where Claudia was made and she grew huge and then she got angry and then she spawns and she tries to kill you so you have to get all your friends together and try and take her down and earn some awesome rewards from her. We have two new events this year in the beach. One of them is the Hooker Duck, which gives you hunting experience, and the other is Terror Bird Racing, which takes you above the beach in loads of different areas and lets you train your agility. So on the beach, you'll have a temperature gauge, and whilst you work on your skills, you'll notice that you'll get hotter and hotter. To cool yourself down, you have to eat ice cream, which you can get on various events, as well as by killing Claudia. If it's happy hour on the beach, however, then your temperature gauge won't go up. Rewards on the beach, other than your XP, obviously from doing all your skilling, you can also get lots and lots of cosmetics. You can either buy them from the vendors, or you can be lucky and win them from Claudia, from battling her, or from doing skilling. And we've got loads of cosmetics. We've got a lifeguard chair hat, which is quite funky. We've got an ice lolly wand that's a wand override that drips. We've got coral daggers and coral swords. We've got water balloon shooter that shoots the little red water balloons that we gave out last year in the, a long-standing thing. We've got Claudia wings, so they're basically like her claws. Uh, you can wear on your back, or there's a shark fin for mod sailing because he totally loves sharks. We've got a rubber duck, rubber ring, and we've got a shadow drake version as well. Pets, absolutely adorable pets. We've got Sandra, who is a starfish, and then we've got Gus, who is a puffer fish, and they've got the most adorable animations. If you love the beachwear from last year, we've got another set, very similar. The man's got a shirt this time, um, but it's recolorable and it's pretty snazzy. There's a towel cape, a nice towel that you can wear on your back, and then there's a conga eel whip as well. And finally, we've got titles. All of the titles from last year are back again, so if you missed out, don't worry, you can get them. We've got all new titles for you to find for doing different activities and little sneaky things, so we'll be interested to see when you find them. We also have a treasure map going with the beach this year. You can get it from Raina at the start of the event. And then every day throughout the beach, you can look at this treasure map and get some rewards. These are free, but if you don't claim them on the day that they're available, they will be locked out for you. If you complete 20 days or more on the treasure map, you'll be able to unlock a special shell shield override and a loot beam, a water splash loot beam that look really cool when you're doing engineering. The beach is an incredible place just to get some experience, hang out with friends, and grab loads of cool cosmetics as well. So make sure you head there before the 12th of September, which is when the beach closes, otherwise you won't be able to get anything. We're catching up with the watch next week as we find out more about the long-awaited skilling pets. So on Monday's update, we'll be bringing you the beach once again, and we thought, what better way to... <laughs> and the all-new Terror Bird racing as well, which takes you in areas all around the top... <clears throat> cool. Sorry. Bloody wind. Okay. Sorry. To the beach. Whoop. A few little surprises in there. So, because the beach is only on for half a day on the foot. <laughs> so, because the beach is only up. <laughs> Shall I do it without the hat, this bit? We have sandcastle building, we have fishing, we have the grills. Lol, grills.
We have a We do have an alternative way. <laughs> oh.